Hi, I'm Nadir Ansari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use animation blueprint with cache animation and how we can do a jump animation, right? So, without any further ado, let's begin. First of all, I want to thank my Patreon supporter. Second, I want to say that this video is a part of playlist of video about animations, and we start from rigging our character, importing our character, and create animation for that. Retarget all the animation that is out there in Mixamo, in Unreal Engine Marketplace, and all of that. No, we are at this point in the last video what we have done we create this walk animation like this right now we we are gonna do a jump animation and let me show you why i'm creating all of these videos not just in one video because i want to show you everything a step by a step not telling a lot of things and you forget about all of them right so in here you remember in last video we create a animation blueprint we create a game mode and we create a character class i know all of you know how you can do that do those things but let me go into my dragon character in here we did this add movement for moving forward now i want to show you how you can jump right if you go to project setting in input because i did create this project from a third person um, template it add all of these axis mapping like move forward move right and i did talk about them a lot now in action mapping you can see there is a jump action in here so whenever you hit a space on your keyboard or gamepad face button bottom <laughs> it it should jump right so let's just implement that fast in here we say jump and what we need is this input action event jump okay so whenever it's pressed we say we want to jump right and this jump is more than enough so with that we will jump right so let's just play and show you we are jumping but it's walking you can see it's walking we don't need that animation of walking right we need animation of jumping so let's see how we can do that just remember that when we click on this mesh in viewport in here we add this a skeletal mesh in here by choosing our skeletal mesh in here and we choose our animation blueprint so with this animation blueprint set in here we connect our character to our animation blueprint so now let's just open up our animation blueprint that is this one and in here you remember we get the velocity and we calculate the speed of our character for moving forward or backward right so now i want to show you how you can do jump right so what we need in here you remember we get the velocity of our character we get the size of that or length of that and we put it in on, on a speed that is a float value right so now i want to again get a another um, another thing from this character and that is is falling and what this is falling do it's first of all it's from character movement so in here you can see the character movement it, it gives us a lot of things to play with so for example walking jumping falling and um there is a lot of them right if you go down swimming flying and all of that right now we want to use jumping and falling okay so if our character is falling it means we should play the jump animation right so it's whenever it is on air and it's not on ground these is falling will be true so if it's on air this is falling will be true right so we can put it in here select both of them hit q so they will organize everything and now we like we have it for a speed we need another one for is it on air okay this variable is it on air and off top of boolean so let's just set that just drag and drop from here click on set is it on air connect this execution pin to here and no we can just connect here and no with this is it on air we can check to see if we, if we are on air if it's on air we should play the um, jump animation right so we should go to our state machine you remember we create this state machine for walking and i did talk about that a lot now let's just go back and in here what i want to do i want to disconnect this okay and if you go inside this you know that from idle we can go to jump from walking we can go to jump as well but i want to show you an easier way to do it if you want to just use uh, this state machine we can do it but there is a better way okay so in here first of all we need this walking animation right and we want to add to this jump walking animation with jump right we want to add jump to it right first of all we should cache it and with this caching the animation we can use it wherever we want so let's just hit f2 on it and change it uh, and change its name to movement anime movement cache okay and with that we cache that animation no let's just create another state machine a state machine add new state machine and this one i want to call it jump okay jump 
state machine okay so with this jump state machine if you go inside from entry we always should add a node to here add a state right and the first state i always use idle and what it should play at the idle right what it should play we can go inside and decide which one we want to use but remember we cache the movement right we can use that cache one okay use cache pose movement cache right we cache it no we can use it in here now if you go back you know at idle and if we go to anim graph in here we can connect these jump state machine to output pose now if we compile it you can see everything is working fine and if we play it you can see the walk is working again everything is cool right everything is working again and if we go to our jump state machine we can add to it right this is the idle with that movement no let's just add to it for example this state and i want to call this state jump state okay and where this jump should happen we should check for is it on air right get is in on air and just connect it to here if it's on air go to jump jump animation and what is the jump animation let's just search for that jump animation there is a lot of them here let's just connect this one okay connect it to here and now with that if we compile and go back to jump state you can see whenever is it on air it will go here now we should add another rule or another state for tell it to go back to idle right so let's just drag and drop from here to here and in this case we want to say if it's not on air right so get isn't on air and let's just not it right we say not boolean and with that we not it so if is it on air is not on air just play over idle animation again whatever it is if it's going forward play that if it's going backward play that doesn't matter we cache it and it works okay right so no with all of these if we run it if we jump you can see it's jumping right <laughs> it's playing our animation now let's just go here and i want to show you this animation this is the animation right so you can see let me play it again you can see it's jumping and we should it should go farther up right so go to character in here in character movement if you click on it you can see there is a category in here for jumping and falling and in here we can change the jump z velocity make it bigger to jump higher right so 800 i think that's good let's just play it again and know who you can see it's uh it's jumping fine right so we can play with this until we get a good result right and i think that's cool right now this animation is looping right and we don't want it we don't want to have that right so you can see in air it's looping again we don't want it to loop so in your jump state okay in jump state in here if you click on your animation that you connect to output animation pose if you go down on this detail you can tell it to not loop that animation okay let's just compile and run and now you can see it's not looping anymore and in here there is a play rate as well we can change that for example to 0.8 and you should play with that until you reach what you want i think that's a little bit better better so let's just change it a little bit again compile and see if it's okay or not right i think that's better right now you can see you can jump and you can walk as well okay everything is cool in the next video i will show you more about this animation blueprint and how many options it, it give us in your game you know a lot of nodes right you know a lot of nodes but in animation blueprint if you learn just five notes six notes you can do a lot of cool things that um a big game like uncharted can do believe me it's so easy to do in this animation blueprint just learning five to six notes okay you you will do a great job with your game. So that was it guys about cache animation and this jump animation and adding multiple state machine to each other and how it works. I hope you like this video. Please, 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 if you want to help me and you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It's my honor to have you here. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much for watching. Bye.